Hello, and thank you for joining me today for the introduction of the UPS B130, the latest CAT double conversion UPS, which ranges from 40 kVA to 130 kVA. The UPS B130 is well organized, easy to maintain, energy efficient, and it comes with a multitude of customizable communication options. The UPS B130 is 75 inches tall, 28 inches wide, has a very large HMI interface. You notice the grates there at the bottom, the air intake, the air intake covers. This unit is also 33 inches deep. As we look across the bottom of the inside of the UPS B130, you'll notice there's ample room for routing and bending cables. As we look across the breakers from left to right, the input breaker, the output breaker, the DC connections, and then the bypass connections. Looking more closely at the bypass connections, that is the static and maintenance bypass. We will talk more in detail about this, but the thing to note here is that the internal maintenance bypass is a competitive advantage. Let's talk next about the rectifier section. Seen in the image in the upper center part of the screen, the input frequencies from 45 to 65 hertz. This UPS does not require an input neutral. If the site requires a neutral, it would be passed through the static switch to the load. The chopping frequency is fixed at 5 thousand hertz. Chopping is the frequency that the rectifier chops or cuts the incoming sine wave. This rectifier utilizes six fully controlled IGBTs that are protected by ultra-fast fuses. In the upper left you can see the battery charger. It draws power from the 800 volt DC bus. Depending on the rating of the UPS the charger will deliver anywhere from 18 to 50 amps for the purposes of charging the batteries. The charging system is sized to recharge a battery offering 30 minutes of backup time in less than 8 hours. The charging system incorporates independent regulation and monitoring devices. These systems manage voltage regulation, charge current regulation, battery voltage monitoring circuitry which is independent from the regulation system, and charge current monitoring also independent from the regulation system. DC ripple is limited to less than 1% of the DC voltage. There's a battery meter that indicates the remaining backup time. This can be accessed from the front screen. The inverter stage, a three-phase inverter with IGBTs and a non-isolated capacitive half bridge. Let's translate that. Non-isolated means that there is no isolation transformer and capacitive half bridge means that we've used a capacitive source, the DC bus, to generate the output voltage through the inverter stage. The inverter operates at a variable chopping frequency of approximately 5 kilohertz. During steady state, the output voltage will be held to within 1% of the RMS values of the phase-to-phase -phase voltage. During an overload situation, the load is immediately transferred to bypass, and during a transient event from the load, the UPS will handle 100% load step with no more than 2% voltage change in RMS values phase-to-phase. -phase. The transient response to within plus or minus 1% range of RMS value is less than 100 milliseconds. Taking a closer look at the graphical interface, the UPS can communicate in 18 different languages, stores 2,500 time-stepped events, allows the operator to view statistical information about the UPS and its operation from the front screen. Communication interfaces include Modbus, RS-232, or RS-485 using the JBus protocol, or SNMP. Let's talk about battery cabinet options for just a moment. Caterpillar offers adjacent and remote battery cabinets. The adjacent cabinet provides a matching battery cabinet loaded with BRLA batteries for installation adjacent to the UPS cabinet. Connection cables to the UPS are provided by Caterpillar, but not with the remote cabinets. Each battery cabinet is provided with a battery disconnect breaker sized for the batteries provided. Battery disconnect options are for customers who choose to provide their own batteries. A battery disconnect becomes a mandatory option because the UPS must have a way to disconnect itself from its battery source under certain conditions. There are two input options in the UPS B130. The drawing on the left shows a one line of a dual input system with a single input configuration depicted by the use of the blue dashed line. The image to the right shows the input connections of a dual input system Number 16 is Q1, or the normal input. Number 15 is Q3BP, or the bypass input. Number 14 is Q5N, or the output connection. A single input system would only have cables connected to number 15 and internally jumpered to the correct inputs. 
In the left drawing, note that KA1 and KA2 provide back feed protection. This pair of contactors provides isolation from the UPS from its utility source during discharge and often is required by local code. Let's talk about maintenance bypass for a moment. The CAT UPS B130 has a distinct advantage in that it offers an internal maintenance bypass. This allows the load to be powered by the utility or genset while being serviced. Most UPS offer only an external maintenance bypass option. Of course, as always, we recommend having the system on generator power prior to doing any service to assure continuous power while servicing the UPS. It would be a tragedy to have the utility fail while you're doing your normal UPS maintenance. Thus, coordinated service calls is yet another good reason for purchasing the entire system from Caterpillar. There are a couple different maintenance bypass options. For those that prefer the external or wraparound maintenance bypass, CAT has a choice of two. The adjacent maintenance bypass option is in the price list and pretty self-explanatory. For applications that require other than 480 volt 60 hertz, a transformer and perhaps additional transformer cabinet would be added. An example of that would be the 600 volt in and 600 volt out, uh, oftentimes seen in Canada. A lesser expensive alternative is the wall mounted maintenance bypass option. All are fully explained in other materials. Let's talk a minute about the alarm relay card, a standard feature of the UPS 130. You can assign predefined operating status conditions to the various output relays and to the predefined in UPS inputs. Command input relays 1 to 6 are controlled directly by the UPS. All changes of state on inputs A and B are transmitted to the UPS. The network management card, also standard, in the UPS B130 directly connects the UPS to a computer network, simultaneously operate as a web server and an SMP agent. Remote connections are made using an ordinary internet browser or a network management system station. This network management card also provides email and text notifications. The Modbus JBus card, also standard in the UPS B130, provides UPS states and measurements in JBus or Modbus protocols. The JBus hexadecimal or Modbus RTU protocols are used in slave mode. The system provides a communication channel with an RS-485 or RS-232 interface. The optional environmental sensor does exactly that. It senses the environment and takes regular measurements of temperature and humidity. The connection to the network management card enables monitoring or notification of alarms via a computer network. Another distinguishing feature of the UPS B130 is the distribution cabinet option, or integrated PDU as we refer to it. CAT offers a great option for those that do not want to take up data center space with additional PDUs. For single module applications, side A and side B can be loaded with four 225 amp breakers or two 42 pole distribution panels or some combination thereof. This is an excellent differentiator when you're talking about small and mid-sized data centers. The external sync option is not paralleling. It's an important differentiation here. The external sync option allows the UPS to remain synchronized with an external source. It could be another UPS, utility, or even a generator set. The UPS B130 from Caterpillar is well organized, easy to maintain, energy efficient, with lots of flexible communication options. Thank you very much for allowing me to review the UPS B130 with you today. We're very excited about this product and know you will be too. Thank you and have a great day.